Go buy Alex Collins. That's your take on the Ravens? Do it. To kick, Do it now. To kick the Ravens talk off, that's what you're going with? Yeah. That's, just, that's the first words you'll hear on YouTube. Go buy Alex <laughs> Collins. <laughs> All right, so we know where Jay stands on this. I mean, obviously, it was a blowout over there in, uh, against Buffalo. So was, you didn't, well, you didn't see like a ton of Alex blowouts. Collins, and it was like two blowouts. Same game. They <laughs> blew him out yeah. twice. <laughs> blew him out in the first half, blew him back out in the second half. The, the first team blew him out and the second team. <laughs> yeah. So Collins fumbled. He did get in the end zone for you. Um, he fumbled, and they want, and the Ravens don't handle that. They don't. They 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 run a tight ship. So if you, didn't if like you mess up, they're gonna punish you. And they're blowing out the Bills, and they got a short week coming back. Uh, they're on the road At versus Cincy. Cincinnati. Yep. So on the Thursday night, they're blowing this team out. Why would you? I I, I think it's a brilliant move by them to limit Alex Collins's touches. And save him for this short week because they're like you didn't need him in this game. You didn't need him to beat the Bills. Right. The Bills. He was a lot of people's favorites to just absolutely run wild against the Bills, but I don't think anybody saw them putting up the kind of performance that they did. Right. That had it been any kind of close, he probably would have got more work. Or this, even remotely close. Yeah. This well, Ravens office is on the up, obviously. I mean, I, I don't know. I, I can understand you being discouraged that he only got you like eight points, but whatever. It's going to happen. So he was kind of like a. There was you were either loving or hating Alex Collins. He fell into like kind of draft purgatory there, where like he was usually like sitting around and like you either loved him or you were passing on him. Um, so the people who have him right now are some people who maybe don't pay a, lot, a whole lot of attention, which a lot of dynasty owners don't go through and watch every game. They might watch, look at some box scores and watch some highlights, true, and be upset true. about. It. Some podcasters do that too. Um, uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, if you're putting out a podcast Sunday night or Monday, <laughs> what what did you have time to? Actually, do any research? I mean, I don't mind the Monday, the Sunday night podcast. That's the instant. That's the fantasy point reaction show. I got no. I got no problem with somebody that wants to put out that podcast and the person that wants to listen to it because it may just be like I want to talk football with somebody right now. And yeah. I don't have anybody sure. sitting around to talk about it. So not everybody watches football with five people and five football screens. You know what I mean? So I got no problem with. We the do Sun- have it blessed over here. I got no problem with the Sunday night podcast er and the podcast e. I did, I have a problem with the Monday morning podcaster who pretends like he's seen everything. Right. That's, that's what I got a problem with. It's fair. I don't have a problem Circle with gets the, the square. The good times sure. podcast. I don't have the people. I don't have a problem with the people having fun with it. All but right. If so you're going to try to pretend like you know everything on Monday morning. Two questions on don't. Alex Collins here. One, you just said you're buying. What you buying? You trying to get some Alex Collins here? I mean, I don't think you're getting too many people in dynasty wise to really Waffle come off of much. too much Alex Collins. I mean. Well, the one thing about this is you, the people that pretty much own Alex Collins right now and had a firm grip on him because of the way he finished last year. They probably got him off the waiver wire or picked him up really cheap in a rookie draft two years ago. And that oh, they, sure. they may be like, oh, crap, maybe last year was just one of those things that happens to running backs like Jeremy Hill, and now he ain't, ain't that great. So there is a chance to go find him in, in a – a buy low spot because they might have just be back sco- box scored. And what are you talking about a low spot here? I mean, nobody's giving them up for a two. Absolutely not. I mean, I, and I wouldn't go. I wouldn't go give up a first for him. I really wouldn't. Um, mm, it, it, mm, I could, Jay Wayne. I could come back to if, if if it's me. I'm going after the Buck Allen on the super cheap. Well, I mean, we'll get to that part in a second. Okay. But you give up. A, you giving up a one for Collins? Uh, I mean, in this league that I don't have, a, I need some running back help out the wazoo. Sure. All right, that's fair enough. I Who guess. am I going to get in the first round that I know that can maul over dudes like he can and nice. catch you some balls? Maybe it didn't happen in one week. I'm not overreacting. The Ra- I'm encouraged by the Ravens' offense for sure. Kenneth Dixon picked up an injury. Yeah, I'll go. I'll go. I'll go buy him for a first. Okay, so we'll get. We really get more into our specific kick-ass trade offers on our patreon side go to ffdynasty.com and check out our patreon but if you're going to go offer a first for alex collins today i would offer the one for alex collins get back the two and give the three and go from there 
Sure. Because yeah, sure. I don't know if I don't know if you even have to have a one to get Alex Collins from the right guy. Well, that's so that's kind of what I was thinking. Maybe but it's not, a two's not going to get it done. Two's not exactly. So the two's not going to get it done. You're sending the one for Alex Collins. You're asking for the two back, and the guy's going to be like, "No, why would I do that?" But then you give the three, and maybe the three and the four, and then you start waffling. Yeah. And at the worst case scenario, you give the one, you get Alex Collins, and then you get his three back, and maybe you give you four, and you bumped up around for nothing. I like it. Yeah, for sure. So still got to go all that first down to do it. Follow I like up. The, I like the extra extracurriculars. Because follow up question. On. Short week. Obviously, we talked about it a little bit. Maybe they were arresting him. Who knows what really happened with Alex Collins there? I'm not on the sidelines. I'm not in Harbaugh's head. You start in Alex Collins week two. Bengals Thursday night. Short week. You you roll. You putting him in your lineup week two. If I have to, I have to. But if I don't have, if I got a, if I got Alfred Morris. On the bench, Ooh. ready to plug in, going against that Colts defense, I'd be much happier doing No that. Alfred Morris on the docket this week. Obviously, he just faced probably the best, one of the best fronts in football, had a couple of decent runs, but we're all about firing up Alfred Morris in week well, two. When we we didn't want you to you, fire up Alfred Morris week one. When we were telling you to go get Alfred, we specifically said go. you can go spend 50% of your fab on Alfred Morris if it takes it right now to get him, but you're not buying him to go put him into the lineup against the Vikings. Right. Right. Okay, fair enough. Well, so, so I hate the I hate the road Thursday team. You got it's to just terrible. I hate the home Thursday team. I I'm trying to st- I'm trying to fade as much Thursday as I can this year. Don't love the home Thursday applicable. team, but it's still much better than the road because exactly. they have like an extra day they don't have to travel exactly. to actually prepare. Um, but that being said, I mean, where you drafted Alex Collins, he's probably your third best running back. Maybe even your second one. So right. you right. probably Maybe even have your first to. one. Maybe. And I don't hate it. I mean, his chances for scoring a touchdown are pretty solid, I feel like. And, I mean, if you got to start him, if you got a better option, if you want to go Alfred Morris, maybe you do that. I think well, just, what you said, the Thursday night thing is a, is, a, is a killer. But what you said earlier to begin with is actually a really, really good point because Alex Collins didn't have to play and they didn't play him. So it's not like he played four quarters and got beat up. Right. He is on the short week, but it's, everybody's as fresh as they can be. But you do get more punishment in week one than you do any other week because you haven't played. Right. Now, even the preseason games. And he's not played play. little in the preseason. Nobody plays in the preseason anymore. Even if you're playing, you don't play. So... Now you come in and you play a full game, but the Ravens didn't have to because, like Casey, we the backups were in early for the Ravens. Yeah. So maybe that's a good point. It's it, I would still fade Thursday night people as much as possible, especially the road teams. He's not road, and he didn't play a whole game last week. So maybe if you can fire up, I mean, there, you pro, there's plenty of people out there that don't have any choices, and they got to follow yeah. fire him up. I'm not saying bench Alex Collins for you know some for Joe Cohen. Schmo, for Tariq Cohen, for somebody that's not going to get the usage. But, I mean, maybe this fumbling it thing is an issue, and if it is going forward, we had to adjust. But right now... I think this is just, the perfect spot for the Ravens to, to punish him just for fumbling. Judging, I agree. Just I agree judging by the week one performance of the Bengals' defense and what they were doing, like Jordan Wilkins certainly didn't look terrible against this, this front. I think Alex Collins is a far superior player to what Jordan Wilkins is, so Absolutely. I don't have any problem firing Alex Collins up on week one, especially with limited. I like that point of saying that, you know, this is the first time you've gotten real some for real action played that long. Your body's a little beat up coming back in, and Alex Collins' body might be body. one of the fresher bodies, especially for a guy who likes to bang like he yeah. bangs. Oh, it's such a so, banger. Oh, the, St- the, the Steelers and the Browns are beat up this week. 